What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube what's going on welcome to another video to the channel y'all boys and FC fantasy team number two is here Today we're gonna go ahead and review that 90 rated Yeah, yeah, tour looking at cards 6-2 on the height medium high work rates Double four star on skill moves and weak foot with that right foot acceleration type is control length the 83 pace 87 shooting 90 passing 88 dribbling 85 defending 92 physicality as well play styles of the card comes with finish shot power shot on basic incisive pass bruiser on plus press proven on plus as well flare and travella on basic now there's a couple cam styles you give yaya toure i'm gonna be honest we're gonna give him the shadow chemistry style just to be safe i heard that they gave him a plus 11 on the agility boost which is absolutely amazing acceleration goes up to 89 sprint speed 93 defense awareness 86 stand tackling gets maxed out a 99 along with slide tackling interceptions goes up to 91 94 strength 85 aggression 96 stamina physicality is looking absolutely amazing yeah yeah is gonna be playing with this team right here shout out to the homie Swizzy. we're gonna be using this card in a 4-3-2-1 as a center center mid right next to that team of the year putellas now earlier this year we got the triple threat yaya Torre, which is absolutely amazing but at this stage of the game he's a little bit outdated i'm not gonna lie now we get this 90 rated, and with this Yaya Toure, he gets upgraded based on Barcelona performances. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on Barcelona's next couple of games. We're going to play some games in foot champs and see if he slides into the top 10 best midfielders in the video game. Not bad on the dribbling so far. Not bad. Very nice run. Test out that four-star weak foot. Oh, that's tough. Unlucky. Very nice. Great pass to Mbappe as well. Unlucky. What a pass to Kafu. That was nice. We do take that. Damn, the physicality from the boy. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Guy out in the middle. Guy messed up on moving the goalkeeper and a great finish right there. Good transition from the car. Very, what a ball from Mbappe. Holy, and almost a good finish from Yaya. Once again, great pass from the car. Great pass right there. To recover that nice little one two little travel inside the box absolutely beautiful yeah boys to put ourselves up three to two very sweaty game but yeah yeah with the ice in the veins nah this man yeah yeah literally you can fuck up dribbling wise and he'll still hold on to the ball that's that body type in the physicality, y'all boys. Very tough to get the ball off this card, y'all boys. Oh, the way to body sallow right there. Not bad on the turn. Not bad on the turn, you know. He is big in game, but that was pretty good. Little finesse. Oh my goodness. 
Very nice tackle right there to prevent CR7 from advancing. Try to hand Bop it here. Oh my days, what a fucking ball. Great interception, that was clutch because Ronaldo was by himself right there. One thing I will say from this card is that since he does have press proven on plus, that RB dribbling is very overpowered. Go on, Messi. Go on, Haaland. Go on, Haaland. Go on, boy. To be fair, that was an insane control on the ball from Haaland, but a great assist from Yaya. We do take that. A very nice interception. Nice. Great turn and a great pass right there. Yeah, it's just very difficult to take the ball away from Yaya, even if you are pressing and with multiple people. Great pass once again. Great interception. We are getting pressed like crazy, but that is no problem at all for Yaya. Great interception. Nice. Does recover the ball right there at least. And a beautiful pass. Great defense. Nice and clean, y'all boys. Let's go. A little bit of poor defending from our opponent, to be fair. Nice little. Ooh. Great step over and a good finish inside the box. Things you love to see. Great job tracking back defensively. That was nice. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 90 rated fantasy FC hero Yaya Toure. Coming around 4.7 million coins by the time I'm recording this video. Currently extinct on the PC market. That is absolutely insane. We played four games with the card, three goals, and one assist as a center center mid and a 4 3 2 1 formation, which is a pretty good return, to be fair. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that this Yaya Toure did impress me. I kind of was expecting him to be very solid. Definitely makes the argument, and I think he solidified himself as a top 10 midfielder in the video game. You do notice a huge improvement in-game from his triple threat card that is still pretty usable at this stage of the game, even though, in my opinion, he's a little bit behind the curve. But with this 90 rated fantasy, you get an absolutely insane box-to-box -box which is quite interesting because he does have medium high work rates and I will say that the medium high work rate is going to get that out of the way that it does prevent him and limit him on his movement offensively. He kind of stays back. So if you're somebody that wants to attack with his Yaya Toure, you definitely can because he has 84 finishing, 94 shot power, 90 long shots. So this card can definitely contribute in the offense. So if you're somebody that wants to use Yaya in the offense, you're going to have to put him on balance. If not, you're going to have to set him on a lot of manual runs. And that could be annoying at times. And that four-star weak foot is a huge pro because at this stage of the game, in order to be a top-tier midfielder, you got to be 4-4 or better. Yeah, yeah, obviously checks out that box. But with the 95 short pass, 90 long pass, 94 vision, this card is one of the best playmakers in the video game. And Yaya Torre being at 6-2, that is very nice. Somebody that big... With that type of playmaking is phenomenal and don't even get me started with the dribbling because even though the dribbling is not as clean as a sedan for example it's such an improvement from his triple threat card the huge agility boost just the huge dribbling boost everything in the dribbling category is so noticeable you combine that with the press proven on plus it's very difficult to get the ball off this card guys he's just a force of nature in that midfield no matter what midfielder or defender you're trying to take the ball off of Yaya, unless it's like a Van Dyke or a Hullet. Nine times out of 10, you're not gonna be able to take the ball away from this card, especially if you're using a female midfielder. You guys saw Yaya Toure was bodying that team of the year Sawa in the midfield very easily. Pace is pretty solid, 81 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, goes up to 89 and 93. Even though it's not exactly top tier like a Sedan 
or like a team of the year Putelas or team of the year Bonmati. It's still pretty solid for somebody with Yaya Torres body type and how he plays in game, especially since this card does have the potential to get upgraded multiple times. Defending is pretty nice as well. 82 defense awareness goes up to 86. Interception goes up to 91. Stan Talcon gets maxed out. It's not exactly perfect, but it's still pretty nice. And I can definitely appreciate the way Yaya, how he was playing defensively and how he was winning every single tackle, no matter which card we were going against. Basically, the only con I can say from this card is that his left stick dribbling isn't super clean, like I said earlier, comparing him to other high agile player like Zizu, KDB team of the year, and those type of cards. But aside from that, guys, he's a top 10 midfield in the game for me. You guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this card? Will you guys be purchasing him on your team? Or are you guys gonna stay away from this card? He's gonna get a thumbs up for me. He's gonna get a rating of a nine out of 10. Absolutely exceptional. I cannot wait to see if he gets upgraded because if he becomes a 91 or even a 92, it's gonna be a major problem in the midfield for a lot of people that go up against them. Thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. You guys are amazing. That concludes the review for Yaya. I don't know what's the next video I'm gonna go ahead and drop. I'm gonna be honest, it's looking a little tough on reviewing the top tier players. I'm gonna try to review that like Wesley Snyder, Lucio, maybe even Dembele. If we don't get those reviews out this weekend, I do apologize, but I will be dropping starting this Monday, the top 10 best players per position of those rankings that you guys have been asking for. Make sure you guys turn on those notifications. Till next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I am out. Bye-bye.